Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna talk about another breakfast option for keto. This time, it's from Stoke Bar. Yeah. But it's not a bar. It's not a bar. And we'll talk about it right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So today we're going to talk about breakfast mm -hmm. and it's not coffee. Cheers to you, sir. Yes. Yeah. A lot of times um, my breakfast is just black coffee because I don't a lot of times eat my first meal until two o'clock in the afternoon. But when I do eat breakfast, sometimes I want that breakfast not to just be eggs. Yeah. And a lot of times for me, my breakfast is either coffee with a little bit of MCT powder or MCT oil in it or it's a bar. Yeah. And sometimes you just miss the crunch for breakfast. Yeah, because breakfast cereal used to have a crunch to it. Yep. So Stoka was nice enough to send us for a review their brand new product. This is Stoka Nutrition's Stoka Bar Cereal. They are trying their hand at cereal. And if you've ever had a Stoka Bar, you know that delicious crunch that goes with Stoka Bars. They are the crunchiest of all bars. It really is a granola bar now it is my understanding that they've changed their formulation they've got a bunch of new flavors coming out so i am trying to get them to send us some of those so we can try them but in the meantime they sent us the cereal and i'm actually really excited for this one me too because this is something that honestly i am you know missing for breakfast yep and in addition to breakfast granola is also really good when you want to like go to the movies and have a little bit of a snack to like kind of chew on while you're watching that movie or what you always want to do with it make it a topping for ice cream yeah and you know what the other thing i've been doing with granola lately not with this one but with the other one that we had reviewed because i've gotten into cottage cheese using the good culture cottage cheese taking that cottage cheese and just putting like a half a serving of granola and you mix that cottage cheese with the granola and you get that creamy crunch going on. Yeah, because we don't eat as much yogurt as we used to. Yeah, because we can't get peak yogurt in Florida. If we could, that's what I would be doing. But in lieu of that, try it. Try it with your cottage cheese. You may not have thought about that, but like if you've ever liked topped um, yogurt, try it with cottage yeah. cheese. Yeah, and if you can get the peak yogurt, we do have a, dis a coupon code for that down in the description. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this would go great, or any granola really, would go great on top of a peak yogurt. That stuff's so good. Yeah. I miss it. I miss it too. So let's, we're not talking about yogurt, we're talking about granola, so let's get into this. So we have three different flavors here. We have vanilla almond, and we have cocoa almond. And I got some strawberry and almond. And we have strawberry almond. We're gonna try all three flavors, right? Um, Yes, please. Okay, so let's go over the nutrition. The one that I wanna really try is the strawberry almond. Me too. So we're gonna go over this. So here's the bag, by the way. So if it'll Looks focus. very artisanal. It's very artisanal, very kind of plain, but fancy at the same time, yeah. if that makes sense. How do they do that? So the ingredients in this are almonds, erythritol, strawberries, inulin, natural flavor, sea salt, guar gum, sunflower lecithin, and stevia extract. So a serving size is a half a cup. That's a decent size that serving. That is a really good serving. Uh, there is approximately 6.6 .6 servings in this container. Can't we just make it six or seven? I know. <laughs> No, it must be confusing. There are 240 calories per serving, 20 grams of fat, 8 grams of protein, 16 total carbohydrates, 6 grams of fiber, 7 grams of sugar alcohol, which makes it, what, 3 net carbs yep. per serving. So mm -hmm. a little bit higher in the total carbs, but... Um, considering I, I know all the ingredients, it's not super bad. What about that one? What do you got on the ingredients? This one, we're, um, it's the same type of thing, almonds, erythritol, inulin, but this one's cocoa powder, obviously, because it's a, it's a, it's a chocolate flavor. And this one is vanilla extract instead of strawberries. Now these two have a little bit higher net carbs. There's four net carbs in this one and I believe four net carbs in the vanilla also. Let's see. So this one is 250 calories for the vanilla. Same. It is 17 total carbohydrates, six grams of fiber and nine grams of 
Oh, no, that's protein. And seven grams of sugar alcohol. So yeah, four net carbs in this one. This one is 18 total carbs, six fiber, and eight sugar alcohol. So yeah. you're looking at so four. four. Okay, so which one? We're going to do one of these with milk and two of them just taste them. Which one are we going to do with milk? I strawberry? Really, yes, I really want to try the strawberry almond. Okay, so let's try the vanilla almond one first. <laughs> just a little taste. <coughs> I'm gonna cough. Wow, that really looks like a granola. I Can almost see? want to. Oh, you know I gotta smell it. So that. Oh wow. I mean, that really, really does look like a granola. That is. Oh my goodness, that should be okay, potpourri. So we'll just pull a piece out of that, and then I'll put this back in the bag. Nice clusters. Yep. Here, let's cover our face. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Wow. That is that delicious. That is the granola that I remember. Mm-hmm. Wow. That is fantastic. Wow, that's like a trail mix, too. I'm going to put that over there so we can keep it up here. I can't wait to try it with milk, but that tastes delicious dry. That is the granola that I remember. Wow, that's good. Okay, so here's the chocolate one. Considering how much we're having, I don't want to do... I can smell it. Oh, sorry. Deep. Oh, it kind of broke up. But That's right. You ready? Yeah. The chocolate flavor doesn't like punch you in the face. No. It tastes very similar to the vanilla. I mean, it's good. It's delicious. But... I don't get a big chocolate flavor. I don't like get a big chocolate flavor. I mean, it's really good, but it doesn't taste much different than the vanilla. It's mm -hmm. just a different color. <laughs> I kind of feel the same way. I feel like, personally for me, we'll talk about it a little bit more later. Yeah. But considering that that is one more total carb, I might just stick with the vanilla. Well, no, the vanilla and the chocolate are the same. No, the vanilla, the chocolate had 18 total carbs, and this oh. one had 17 total carbs. Right. Okay, so here's the strawberry. Now let's do the full strawberry. We have our scale here. Let's measure out a serving. Okay, so a serving size. Hey, get those little pieces of chocolate out of this. So we don't ruin our flavor. Oh, gladly. I figured you would say that. Okay, so we zeroed it out. And how many, a serving size is? 51 grams. 51 grams. So we're gonna move this over to grams. It says it's a half a cup. You want to smell it? Now that smells like strawberry. Wow. I really smell strawberry. Okay, so we have a half a cup measure. Let's see how close. Get it all out of there. Right. So that's a piled half a cup, right? Uh-huh. Let's see. Oop, Ooh, too much. Too much. It's a lot too much. Definitely want to measure your servings. Wow, look at how much I'm taking out. There we go, close enough. All right. Okay, so that is a serving size of it. That's a decent let's, serving. Let's put it back in here. Can you help me spoon it back yeah. in? Yeah. So yeah. A little bit it below. Is, is it's like a, probably a perfect leveled half a cup mm -hmm. is what it's gonna come out today. Okay, so that's our serving size. Do we want to try it first without milk? Just a little yeah, taste little a taste. Little. Trying to get something that looks like it has a strawberry attached to it. That's good. Wow. Yes, that tastes distinctive. That is strawberry. It doesn't taste like the vanilla and the chocolate. Okay, so we have. This is our new like milk substitute that we've been using lately. Calfia Farms. Calfia Farms Toasted Coconut. It's coconut almond milk blend. No carrageenan. <clears throat> Excuse me, trapped in my throat. Carrageenan in it. So the ingredients in this are, you wanna read it? Cause it's kind of small. It's almond milk, which is made of water and almonds, coconut cream, calcium carbonate, sunflower lecithin, sea salt, natural flavor, 
locust bean gum, gallon gum, potassium citrate, and monk fruit ac extract. Yeah, and so a serving size of this is eight ounces, 45 calories, one total carbohydrate, one gram of protein, protein and four grams of fat. And one uh, fiber. One fiber. So there's so like zero, zero net, net carbs. carbs. So we're gonna do a half a serving, which is a half a cup. That looks like breakfast. That looks like breakfast. All I need is some Saturday morning cartoons. Okay, I just realized something. You did not bring a spoon. We didn't bring a spoon, but we have my Jack spoon. Aww. This is my little spoon that goes on my coffee mug for stirring. He's a little batty. So it's not a full spoon, but you want to use that? Yeah, absolutely. Is this going to work? Yes. It's going to be a, a little tiny one. This is probably the spoon you need to use when you're eating because it's going to make your meal take way longer. That's good. That is good. The flavor, the sweetening is immediately going into the milk and then combine it with that coconut milk. By the strawberry. The strawberry is the good one. Yep. <laughs> I mean, the vanilla tastes good, but it's like plain. Here's what we're going to do. Even though we don't have a proper spoon, we're going to leave this sit here. And see if does it get mushy. It shouldn't, but let's see how it goes. Yeah. And let's put this through our five things review. So five, five things. things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We talk about the ingredients, does it keto based on a nutrition label, how does it taste, how much does it cost, and finally, would we recommend it? Yep. Okay, so number one, the ingredients. Uh, so let's pull out this one real quick again. The ingredients are pretty good. Almonds, erythritol, strawberries, inulin, natural flavors, sea salt, guar gum, sunflower lecithin, and stevia extract. So pretty good ingredients. Yeah. Okay. Uh, number two, does it keto based on the nutrition? 20 grams of fat, eight grams of protein, so much higher in fat than protein, 16 total carbohydrates, so, so it's a little high on the total carbs. If you're a total carb person, this is you. This is not something you're gonna eat every day. Nope. Because it's really gonna like take a hunk out of your total carbs. But if this is like you want a Saturday morning with cartoons, this is this is nice. Yeah, and especially if you're looking at something like as a snack, like going on a hike, going to the movies, just having that snack and eating a little piece at a time, might be worth those total carbs. And if you are a net carbs person, three grams of strawberry net carbs. Strawberry flavor, three yeah. net carbs per serving. I think it's the best one too. Yeah. So number three, how does it taste? It tastes delicious. And yep. honestly, the vanilla and the chocolate are really, really good. They just taste very They're very similar. similar. Very similar. So if you're looking for something different and you're looking for something like a little fruity, like sometimes, you know, Fruity Pebbles, breakfast cereal, that you're missing the crunch and you're also I missing certain flavors. Wait a second. Is it changing the milk? No. I Almost like crunching. a hint of Frankenberry cereal. Yeah, exactly. The strawberry. Flavor-wise, Frankenberry. The strawberry is the most like cereal to me. Mm -hmm. The vanilla and the chocolate wind up being like a really awesome trail mix. Yep. In my opinion. But it's holding its crunch sitting in that water. Milk. Not What's surprising. Water? Milk. Not surprising because you're talking about Stoka Bar and it's probably the crunchiest bar you've ever had. Yep. So number four, how much does it cost? Here we go. Actually, it's not that bad. I was kind of shocked at the price of it. Okay. It's $15 a bag. All right. And how many servings are in it? There's six, it says six and a half servings per bag. Can we round up to seven? Well, how about we round down to six? Okay, okay? I like that. Because we saw with the with the cup, you may overdo it just a little bit. Okay. So based on six servings, what is that? Um, what, two fifty dollars a serving? That's not terrible. So two, that's the same price as buying a bar. Yeah. And you're getting a nice like meal, kind of like that breakfast, eating a cereal thing. I don't think it's super bad, especially for pretty clean ingredients. And if you eat it with a tiny baby spoon, it's going to last you a way long time. So number five, would we recommend this? Absolutely, I would recommend this. In fact, I would probably rather buy Stoka products in the bag because if you've ever had a Stoka bar, usually it's one bite and then a whole bunch of crumbs in your lap. Yeah, it's like all over the place. Yeah, so this way you can control the crumbs. Yeah, now I it is again my understanding that they've changed the formulation of their bars a little bit uh, so that they're not so crumbly. So hopefully they will send them to me. I know that they have a bunch of new flavors as well. So guys, if you're watching this Stoka Nutrition, 
please send them to us so we can do a review for them as well. Yeah. Uh, not too much begging there. Yeah. But yeah, I think overall these are really good. And honestly, we've tried a lot of different keto granolas. Mm -hmm. This to me is the one that comes closest to a non-keto granola. Absolutely. It's delicious. If you've got people in your household that haven't like made the transition to keto and you're just trying to clean up the ingredients in the foods that you eat, you want to, you know, put this in your kid's lunchbox, you know, somebody that's eating regular, traditional, standard American diet yogurt, and, and they usually top it with a granola of some sort, get rid of the sugar. Give them this one. Give them this one, they're gonna love it. Yeah, now I will leave a link down in the description for this. I will reach out to them and ask them if we can have a coupon code. I don't know if they're gonna give us one. If they do, it will be down in the description. And you can also get them on Amazon as well. And in the same price on Amazon, but if they can give us a coupon code, it might be better to go to their website. Sometimes I know they have their own sales or something like that. Well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section what your favorite flavor would probably be. For me, it's the strawberry almond. Definitely the strawberry almond. And also let us know down below what are some flavors you'd like to see because I'm telling you right now, blueberries on my mind. I'm thinking cinnamon. Yeah. Also, let us know down in the comment section like what you like to put your granola on other than just mixing it with milk. Do you like taking it to the movies? Do you like using it for a trail mix? Do you put it on your yogurt or cottage cheese? Or ice cream. Or anything else you can think of. Let us know down in the comment section. If you like what you saw today, do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.